How many remember your very first Toastmasters meeting? Of course. <laughs> it was in the older version of this room and I was 10 minutes late. Did you know that there are three other hotels <laughs> yeah. on this same corner? And I went to the other three first before I found this and I sat right over there and I was sweating. But by the time this meeting ended, I knew I belonged here because of the experience that I had, I had just shared. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most distinguished guests, thank you for coming. The idea of Toastmasters is that it is mainly an experience, as Clint just very craftily explained. Leadership focus is to help that experience to be superb, because that helps to foster individual group growth and group growth as a team. This, MO, this Moments of Truth survey is a tool that we use annually to measure our Chamber Toastmasters experience. Today we're gonna cover three topics. First, we're gonna give a little bit of background on it. The majority of our time will be spent on what happened with our survey, and then we'll talk a little bit about our work items. The point of this is that we want to measure every aspect of the Toastmasters experience beginning to end, start of the meeting to the end. We, we executed this survey in January and we completed it by January 30th and I sent in the report by January 31st because then we got our gift certificate for $25. <laughs> we get to use that for the, the uh, youth leadership program that we do. So that was excellent. 19 of 27 members participated. Look around the room. Roughly how many show up, right? We've got this rotating group of folks that are really quite core. Almost everybody, and then a few of the others came, uh, participated too. Thank you very much for your participation. We got some really good results and some good write-in comments with this as well. This is the busiest chart that you will see. Take a look at this. I'll step out of the way. Take a look at this. These are the categories. You can tell that Toastmasters International has invested considerable effort to figure out how do we, first of all, what are the important categories of the Toastmasters experience? How do we measure them? And as you experience, there are questions within each of these. And at this time, we'll go ahead and march through and start talking about what were the results for our club. The first impressions. <laughs> all, 80, all questions were either 85 or 100%. That was excellent. The actual first impression, what do people experience when they first come here? We apparently are doing a fabulous job, and that, that's it shown. One comment was, Sometimes they want name tags. Some, some clubs have the personality where it's good to have name tags. We've chosen not to do that. One improvement could be, uh, let's make sure the guest book is easily visible. That's one. What about orientation? You wanna make sure people are getting their speaking roles. We wanna make sure they're getting their mentors. We wanna track their progress. And we, we, received 88% on this. One of the improvements that we had was that we need to understand where each individual member is at, not only when they start, but as they are marching through. We're working to keep track of where are you at with your speeches. If you look on this banner behind me, well, you can't see it, but you see all these pretty ribbons here? Here in this club, we're very, very focused on the distinguished program distinguished club program, doing really well with those achievements because when you achieve each of those goals, this is a really good experience. What about once we're here, in and about? The greetings are warm. You can see we scored really, really high on those things. One of the comments was, we hear about how you leaders go off and you get all this training. What is it? What do you receive there? As a matter of fact, this 
is part of that. I heard about the Moments of Truth survey at training in January and said, let's do that. Let's do it now. What about program planning, the actual meeting experience? Well, you can see we scored really, really high. Chamber Toastmasters does a pretty exceptional job at running this weekly meeting, at least according to our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> what about retention? Members coming and going. At one point, I was the vice president of education. I'm the one responsible for putting out that agenda. And in the October dues cycle, 12 of our members, for very good reasons, chose not to renew. That became a painful experience <laughs> generating that schedule. But true to our character, I'd generate the schedule and put people on there and they'd be doing the same job two or three weeks in a row or they, everybody had a job pretty much every week. And we all got, even if you had a job, you got to get up and, and talk at, at the table topics. We stepped up really well as a team. And the membership growth type things, the garden type things that we did, well, we came back within a year or so. But that was particularly a challenge, and it's a challenge for everyone. And Alan, thank you very much for coming and sharing some really beautiful thoughts on how to, that, how to help that. What about achievement recognition? What that means is when somebody achieves an award, do we let people know about it here in this group and, and elsewhere? At this moment, I am Vice President of Public Relations. I call myself a pebble in the shadow of the mountain, Dave Hansen, because he really runs the show really well and I'm, his, I'm, I'm one of his students. But we work really hard. When somebody achieves something, we want to bring them up front and we want to make sure that that gets presented. Part of what we might be doing is as we track each person's progress, we want to make sure you know where you're at so that we achieve those awards. Here's our work items. It's not clear how this education program works. It is kind of a mystery. And it's actually un being revamped as well. As a leadership team, we're going to work at telling you about that program. And I believe we actually had such a presentation already. We're working on that. We're going to do much better at, and we've already started this, Craig started this. Where are, is everybody at? Where are you? And let's make sure you're moving forward, especially those very special newer members who have been here just about a year and will complete their competent communicator <laughs> this cycle. <laughs> we hope to have two open house events. We talk about an inviting environment. And Alan talked a lot about that. Let's just share from our heart and let's open this up to folks so that they can grow in this beautiful garden called Toastmasters. Madam Toastmaster.